G'day everyone, it's time for another Olight review and this month I'm going to be reviewing the Olight Seeker 2 Pro. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right, the Seeker 2 Pro is a very, very bright handheld floodlight. It's maximum of 3,200 lumens with a throw of 250 meters. Now, I'm going to open it, show you what's inside, read out the specs, tell you how it stacks up against a couple of other O lights, and then we're going to go out in the dark and play with it. Let's open it up. So, first thing you'll see is it comes with a really neat little case. I understand the lighting is not great here, that's because I'm filming indoors. And there's the torch. This does a few things that uh, other O-lights don't do. I'll go more into that shortly. What's in the box? I've not even looked in here myself yet. And here we have the magnetic O-light charger. One of the really cool things about O-lights is their charging system, the way they charge. Magnetic. In here, we should have a little D bracket, a little L bracket I mean. There it is. Here we have an L bracket with a self-adhesive tape on the back. And some more uh, just bits and pieces to put them together. Handyman things we'll call these. <laughs> Screws and little plastic grommets and stuff. Now the whole idea of this, this is to wipe the uh, area down clean. That's self-adhesive tape or you can, you can tape it or you can screw it. But basically that is an L bracket. You can hang that on the side of the shed and then you can hang the, uh, sorry it goes that way. You can hang that on the side of the shed and then you can hang the torch underneath it and plug the charger into the back like that. What that means is you can have that set up permanently on the wall like that any time. Just leave it there permanently, then you can just come and hang that underneath and charge it. You can have it on the side of your bed, you can have it on the wall of your shed, you can have it wherever you want. But that's what that's for. Hangs, I'm actually filming on an angle here. So that's directly upside down and that's hanging off it right now. And that can hang off anywhere for easy charging. This is the Olight Seeker 2 Pro. It's a handheld floodlight. Now, just to show you where it stacks up in comparison with other torches that I've reviewed in the past, I'm trying not to let it roll away here. Uh, there is the Olight Warrior X Turbo, and there is the Olight Warrior X Pro. I'll just lighten that up a little bit so that you can hopefully see a little bit more maybe. Now what you can see there is that there are, that's a similar size battery component but a different side, size head. And that's because this one is more of a spot, a spotlight. That is a cross between a spot and a flood and this is a pure flood. So I'll uh, fix my camera back up so that it's not too overexposed. I don't know how this will work but that casts a spot right in the middle. This one's a spot and a flood. And this new one here, this is, uh, this is just a flood. Right, now when you look at this torch, at the, uh, the Seeker 2 Pro, you'll see on the top here, and this is one of the reasons I want it dark, there's lights around the button. Unlike all the other O lights, this actually has lights on it so you can see where you're at. If I turn that on, you'll see those green lights. The four green lights at the top tell me that's the battery. Those four lights are the battery power. That tells me I've got two, two, uh, I've got a full battery. The ones down the bottom here, the two that came on, I'll turn it off and back on. Those two tell me that I'm on medium. If I hold that in, it goes up to high. And if I double click, it goes to turbo and then all the lights come on. So I'll turn it off. I'll turn it on, we're on high. So we've got low, medium, high, low, medium, high, low, medium, high, then double click up into turbo mode. And I'll go into the specifications shortly. Another really cool feature with this torch is it has a lockout mode. From here, if I hold it in for a few seconds, it'll come on to moon mode. You can see that's on there now. Moon mode is the lowest and that shares the same light with low. And that's because when you go up from moon, into low, it still stays on that one light, then it goes medium, high, like I showed you earlier. Now, the cool thing I was telling you about, if you go, if you keep holding your finger down, if you hold your, your thumb or your finger on the button to go into moon mode, but keep holding it on, watch what happens. Moon, off. 
Now, if you hold it till it goes moon, then off. That's now in power off. That's in standby mode. So you can't bump the button. I'll push the button now, and you watch what'll happen. One of these lights will go red. See that little red light there? That's because it's in lockout. It's in lockout mode. This torch gets very, very hot, and that just saves it from accidentally being bumped on and uh, getting hot inside your, your pouch or your pocket or your backpack or whatever. To get out of lockout mode, you simply just hold the button down again. And there we go, back in the moon mode and we're back in business. So if I want it on turbo, I double click. Now, a really cool feature with this is if I triple click, it goes into strobe mode. Now just a warning for anybody with epilepsy or that doesn't like strobe lights, we're about to show a strobe scene. You might want to just jump forward 10 seconds. But if I triple click, there's the strobe mode. Rightio. Now let's get into the specifications. I've shown you how to use it. Oh, one other real cool thing before I go, it's got a rubber grip. Unlike all the other torches that are metal all the way around, this is every bit as heavy and every bit as solid, but it's got a rubber grip on it. That's much more, uh, it feels, just feels more ergonomic. It feels better in the hand than any other O-Lighter. I'm, I'm actually very impressed with this torch. Now let's get into sp some specifications. I'm gonna be reading off the back of this box. Turbo mode. If I double click, we're in turbo. That gives me two minutes at 3,200 lumens, followed by 150 minutes at 600 lumens. So it goes from 3,200 for two minutes, throttle down to 600. If I just go into uh, high mode, which is that one there, that gives me 1,200 lumens for 110 minutes, and then it throttles down to 600, the same as turbo, for 30 minutes. So turbo is two minutes and 150 minutes. This one here is 1,200 lumens at 100, for 110 minutes, then 30 minutes at uh, 60 lumens. Medium, I'll go to medium, where are we? Moon, low, medium. Medium there, it'll go on medium, 300 lumens, which is still very, very bright, and it'll do that for nine hours and 30 minutes. Low, if I cycle through, there's low there. Low goes is 50 lumens for 52 hours. And moon mode, I've got to turn it off to get into moon mode and then hold it on for a couple of seconds. That's moon mode. That goes for 12 days. And that is more than enough to walk around your camp and to see where you're going. Walk along a, a single trail back to your car or anything like that. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a couple of lights. That is the the canteen and the change rooms of the local soccer oval. I'm at the Wangaratta soccer oval. So, let's see how this goes. Let's put it into low. This is moon mode. Let's put it in the moon. You can see there with moon, I can walk around here, no worries at all. I can see where I'm walking. It lights up quite a big area. That's moon. No dramas whatsoever. Now let's go to low. Low, you can see it starting to light up that street sign over there. Heaps of room. It's lighting up quite a lot. Even at low, at low, which goes for something like nine hours, that is plenty of power for walking around out in the bush. Heaps of power. Now we'll go to medium. Now we can see the street line, and the, just starting to make out the outline of the trees there. And we can see the street light. Lots of power once again. Medium's quite bright. I can't remember exactly how long this burn this goes for on this setting, but it's quite bright anyway. Now we'll go to high. Now on high, you can see these trees really well now. You can see right along the side of the oval there where all the cars can park and everything. It's good wearing a lav mic, I can walk away from the camera. Although, it works best if I'm facing the camera that way. Once I turn away from the camera, it can drop out after a little while. If I lose audio, it's because I've walked too far from the camera. But you can see, even on uh, high, I'm lighting all those trees. Problem Heaps of light. That's on high. Now I'll come back and we'll boost her up on turbo mode. Right, turbo mode, here we go. Look at that, that is so bright. If there was cars there, there'd be like probably two or three just here. 
plus another dozen or so down along there. That's lighting up out onto the sock grove, leaving when I'm shining out onto the oval. That's actually lighting up the side of the uh, the side of the building over there, and the, that's lighting up the, the lights over there with the um, you can see the light there in frame just behind that green bin. There's another one over there that's a little bit out of frame. But anyway, that's turbo mode. This only goes for two minutes at this brightness, and then it throttles down to 600 lumens for a couple of hours. Very, very bright indeed. Very bright. Now, one of the good uses for this, and I mentioned this in one of the other torches, I'll turn this off for a moment. This is a tactical torch. This is a tactical torch. It's not a toy. It's not a kid's toy. It is a tactical torch. I think it'd be ideal for members of the police or the CFA. Imagine if you've got someone coming towards you. Now, here's another strobe warning. If you've, if you've got an attacker charging at you, three clicks, bang, 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 and you're doing that in their face, and then they can't see Jack Shizen. It's a, it's, a, uh, it's a very good torch. It's not a toy. It's very heavy. It's quite expensive. It's very, very high quality. And I think it would be a necessity for any of our emergency services, to be quite honest. I don't know. I've got no idea what they carry in the emergency services. But I think if I was a copper, I'd like to have this hanging off my belt. Actually, it's funny. You, you won't be able to see it. But I'll just I'll see if I can pan the camera around a bit. I just shone the torch down there in the trees. And I said, there is. There's a set of eyes. It just went away again. There they are. I, can, I don't know whether the camera can see him. No. There's a set of eyes. In, I, mean, I think it's a fox. Sometimes if it's a fox, if you just whistle a bit like that, they'll... Uh, there, there's the eyes. There, there it is. Those eyes are about 50 metres away. There they are. See the eyes in the middle of the frame there? Just off to the left of centre. The how's that right on cue of bloody crazy old foxes just come along. Now this isn't the best hunting light because it's a flood and not a spot. In saying that it does light up eyes pretty well but it won't light up the animal so well. Now I've changed locations here a little bit because I had to come back to my car to refer to my mobile phone so that I could get some information about the flash sale which is a bit later this month than normal. Olight have a regular flash sale and this flash sale starts tonight the 2nd of September at 8pm where you will find up to 40% off the Olight Seeker 2 Pro which is this one as well as many other, say, many other uh, torches. Now I will have a link in the video description as well as the pinned comment below. Make of it what you will. But that's moon mode, low, medium, high, and turbo. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, want to give it a big fat thumbs up. Check out the uh, flash sale and the link in the video description below. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video.